Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Superhero Mashers Deadpool. And it comes with like a mash him up with Venom. Uh, I don't really care much for this series. This is meant for kids, not for us cool adult collectors. And so the little kitties here can mash him up and whatever. I just got it because it's Deadpool. I'm surprised they did a Deadpool for these little kids. Uh, they're going to be in a big surprise when they see the new movie and it's rated R and people are dying and getting their heads cut off. Anyways, let's open it up. Little disclaimer here, I know this is a kid's toy, so if I say the paint articulation and the mold's good, I'm saying it as regards to a kid's toy. Don't freak out on me. Um, I know it's not great articulation, and I know it's on a great mold in retrospect to other Marvel Legends, but I'm going to say for what it is, this is it. I know it's a kid's toy. Don't bite my head off. So, that's a start. This is a pretty cool mold. I like the way they did the muscles and everything. Um, I like the way the back looks, especially the face here. They even had a little bit of Deadpool character. His eye squinted there on the right, and the other one's open. So his right eye is squinted, but his left eye is open, but, you know, it's on the right. Anyways, a uh, little bit of head articulation while we're here. Pretty good head articulation. He does the whole exorcist thing. No ab crunch. His arms will go up that high. They'll go all the way around. Swords blocking it. Single jointed elbow, so just 90 degrees out of that. And no wrist articulation at all. One thing I don't like is that he only comes with one open hand to hold his sword. This one's just made specifically for the rocket launcher. So you can't ever really have him holding on to both, both of his swords at the same time. So that's what it looks like otherwise. That's really kind of disappointing. I honestly think it's kind of a major design flaw. They should have just had two hands like this one right here instead of having this one a gun holding hand like that because he could still hold the gun with an open palm hand like this one and I think that would have looked a lot better. So I don't really understand why he came with a fisted hand and only one open hand. It would have been a lot better if these were both open hands. That way he could hold the gun just as well as you could just see. He held the gun it wasn't going to fall out but Unfortunately, for some reason, they thought they needed to do that. I don't know what other purpose it would be. I guess the only downfall was that I guess they were thinking he wouldn't be able to hold the little throwing stars. But, I mean, who cares about the throwing stars? You could always, you know, be creative. You're a freaking kid and, you know, do something like that. So, mm, let's see. Again, no, hip, no waist articulation. Hips will go up that much. They'll go back just as far. A little swivel here. Well, that, that's supposed to come off, but that came off really easily. So that's just a single jointed knee. There's no joint up here at all. A uh, little peg hole so you can connect junk like armor and mash them up. And then they even added the ankle rocker. Oh, how cute. Ankle rocker for the kitties. Uh, so yeah, mold wise, it's not too bad. Articulation wise, it's not too bad. Um, I'm not going to be using this in any great displays or anything. Um, he comes with three, what do you call these, little shuriken things, not shuriken, or shrink, 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 they come with little blades that you can throw, throwing stars, let's call them throwing stars, I know it's not an official Japanese term, but whatever, and that's how they fit, they don't really fit in his hand, they just peg in there, and you can uh, probably peg these in other spots, like, he needs, he's got shin guards now. Um, having so much fun. You could put them here on the side. So lots of little holes. I don't really like these holes as much. But he does need them to hold his swords. Like that. Like so. Like that. Like so. And then uh, let's test out his rocket right quick. Let's see if I can get Deadpool to fall over. If I shoot him with the rocket. If I can even get him to stand. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, he's still standing. He also comes with a venom hand. You just gotta uh, pop it out and stick it in. That's really stupid. I'm not funny. And then you pull it out. And then if you want, you can be really cute and funny and cool and creative and make his hand the leg. Because you're just mashing him up any way you want. Who can tell you otherwise? You're a kid. You can do whatever you want. Um, other than that, that's all pretty much comes with it. I've had this figure in my collection and just sitting in the bottom of my pile of shame here. Figures I need to open for a long, long time. Um, some other kid was actually 
<laughs> like, hey mom, look, there's a Deadpool, and he runs around the other side, and I heard him say that, and I've been looking for this figure, and this was when it was really hard to find, and I just ran over there, and I grabbed it real quick and left. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I pretty much, you know, nabbed it for the little kid could. I feel like a jerk, but oh well. You snooze, you lose, you little brat. Um, anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe, or Deadpool will cut you. Uh, for more cool toys, like this Deadpool, check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. Got a link to it. Click it. Click, click, click it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day. Peace out.